It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Pow. Oh, hi, headsets. Frankie Boy here, and it's review time yet again. Today we're entering a new kind of theme park. From feeding dinosaurs to crafting weapons, our park has a lot to offer, but is it worth your time? <laughs> well, that's what you're here to find out anyway. Now, before we get started, I did receive a review key for this one, but as always, my opinion cannot be purchased. Finally, if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest PlayStation VR games that are truly worth your hotter moolah, friggin' subscribe. Now, I know, I know, I know. On to the review. All right, after months of delays, the time has finally come to get our grubby little hands on a virtual dinosaur park of our dreams. What initially started as Ark, a wonderful, massive online first-person survival game, has since been spun off in their own little virtual reality playground. You can feed, raise, discover, and shoot a wide variety of dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. And on top of it all, most of these modes are also accessible to play in multiplayer. Now that sounds pretty cool, right? And like your initial ride into the theme park, you might be both overwhelmed and enamored by the possibilities that lie on this island of your dreams. Uh, sadly, a lackluster movement system and general lack of cohesion kind of crashed the party. Uh, the main problem is Ark Park just tries to do too many things at once. I'm still not sure if it's a crafting game, first person shooter, or educational experience. A menu or loading screen separates each area and once inside, uh, most are relatively small. The arrival area is for hopping on a train, and I must say the train ride really is pretty spectacular. But sadly, uh, what starts as fireworks turns into sparklers. You're dropped off and immediately greeted with another load screen. Uh, whatever, this is a big game. I said it'll be fine. It's got to load. Sadly, the area you load into, albeit cool, is very small. And upon leaving, uh, another load screen. Uh, this general disconnect echoes through the entire title. The menu system feels very outdated compared to the glossy futuristic environments around you and although it does offer a number of areas to visit they all feel like just a taste of what could have truly been the movement is another nail in the tire. Not only is there no settings menu, but your only option for locomotion is teleportation with 30 degree click turning. It works, but in my personal opinion, it's not in any way optimal. Like most VR developers have come to realize, the players want options. What works for one of us is completely immersion breaking for the next, and without any way to customize a game to your liking, it can easily ruin what could have been an amazing title. Now. I don't think a movement system is what could save Ark Park, but I do believe options would make it a much better game. Now, it's not all a bad trip. I really did enjoy exploring the environments, which do look stunning on PC, but sadly, eh, just fall apart into a blurry mess on PSVR, and eh, with no pro upgrades, the game certainly isn't the shining star it could be. I also liked using my scanning gun to catalog new critters and interact with them in the environment, but sadly, none of this really offers any replayability. Sure, it might be a cool experience to show off your VR to friends, but if you were expecting some next level dinosaur fantasy zoo where you get to be Richard Attenborough, uh, you're not going to be happy. Finally, there is a wave shooter and crafting weapons aspect to the game, but it just doesn't feel fully fleshed out. The gunplay is extremely low quality for a VR game, and it really just feels kind of tacked on. I can't comment too much on the multiplayer, considering there really weren't too many people online while I was playing, but it's really just the same half-hearted gameplay from single player with some more people. Eh, not really my cup of tea. So, if I had to throw a rating on this one, it's looking like a solid C-, minus, uh, which worked for me in high school, but just doesn't cut it these days. Now, like all games, I'm sure some players will enjoy trying to raise dinosaurs, have fun upgrading their weapons, and love defending the various posts. And they may not even have a problem with the movement, visuals on PSVR, or cohesion. So, like any VR game, 
it's really more what you personally are looking for in the experience. And I personally think your 50 bucks uh, could be much more happily spent elsewhere. Uh, finally, there are a few coming soon areas to the multiplayer section, so make sure you subscribe to stay updated if anything great comes along. All right, so what you think? You're going to grab it? Hey, you're going to wait for a sale or forget about it? Let me know below. Thank you for coming through. Hope you enjoyed the show. And if you're new and you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR in ya, don't mind this ugly mug. Freaking subscribe. I mean, come on. Smooches. Alright, now I initially played this on Rift and then played on PSVR, but my recording messed up when doing PSVR, so instead of replaying all the way through, I had my wonderful friend Seraphim190 hook me up with some footage, so please, you guys, he is an awesome YouTuber from Australia and actually gets a lot of games even earlier than I do sometimes, so eh, why not go check him out and, hey, friggin' subscribe!